When it comes to music portraying a certain season, be it a holiday season or a literal season in the weather, we tend to have preconceived notions of what that music ought to entail. That could be due to what we've grown up with, what reflects the vibe of that season, or a mix of both. And as you may have guessed by the title of this video, the fact that Christmas is just around the corner and that the weather here is almost winter-like-ish, not really, but it's trying, <laughs> I have here today a video in which I'm going to be telling you about my five favorite winter or Christmas themes. Be prepared though, some of these may both confuse and surprise you. Hey y'all, I'm the Geek Apprentice and I love the season of winter. The cold, crisp air, the thought of snow, even though I typically don't get it or Ever, and the joy of Advent which leads up to the beautiful holiday of Christmas. And between films and video games, there are quite a few winter musical themes out there, some more on the nose than others. So I've compiled a list of my five favorite winter and or Christmas themes from all of my fandoms. Well, obviously I won't be picking from every fandom and that's for two reasons. The first is that this list only goes up to five and even with honorable mentions, I still wouldn't be able to cover every fandom I consider myself to be a part of. And the second is because some of the fandoms, well, they don't really have any themes that go with that. Like Hunger Games? Sure, there are times when it's cold, but I wouldn't consider any of them winter themes. Or at least not overtly, so... Yeah, that's why. I could stretch it a little for some of them, I'm sure, but I'd rather be more on the side of clear and concise. So with that out of the way, here are my favorites. The Christmas at Hogwarts theme from the first film, Philosopher's Stone, begins with such a classical and jubilant feel that exudes Christmas vibes, and it is particularly the beginning of this piece that attracted me to it for the list. There is, however, a shift in this piece to a darker and eerier vibe, but it still works. Given the nature of winter itself, no pun intended, there is almost this empty ambience to it due to how cold it is and how quickly it gets dark. Furthermore, even though it does get darker, we do still hear in the background some carolers singing, so that keeps it within the Christmas vibe. Of all the evolutions, for whatever reason, Glaceon is actually my favorite, and so I have kind of a soft spot for a lot of Ice-type Pokemons. And in Pokemon Shield, one of the gym leaders we battle is the Ice-type trainer, Melanie. Her gym is located in a place called Kerchester, which is covered in snow. The theme backing this area wonderfully captures the vibe of a wintry, almost Christmassy town. It's lovely to listen to, especially as someone who adores this season. Now for an overtly Christmas theme. The Santa Claus, in addition to being the reason I spelled Santa Claus wrong most of my life, <laughs> is by far my absolute favorite Christmas film. Between Tim Allen, the writing, the music, it truly is a family Christmas classic. And since Disney made the film, it counts as part of my Disney fandom. But this theme that plays when Scott first arrives at the North Pole with Charlie is magnificent. It's everything Christmas, except it doesn't talk about Jesus, of course, which is the whole point of Christmas. It's what Christmas is about. It's like, if you're not celebrating Jesus' birth, then you're not celebrating Christmas. That's moronic. I don't know why you would think. And Saint Nick, even Santa Claus himself, like he lived his life pointing people to Christ. So if you're not, it's just, Anyway, I love how gentle it begins, but also how grand it becomes as they descend down into the workshop in the sleigh. The big choir, the thrill of seeing all of Santa's workshop and how beautifully the filmmakers decided to portray it. I love this theme. When I hear the theme for the ice cavern in Ocarina of Time, I instantly feel chills. This piece just sounds Cold, which is so impressive to me, but it's Koji Kondo, so I don't know why it surprises me, but it does. Even for a little mini dungeon as small as this, he put so much effort into making the backing theme perfectly capture the feel of the area. 
The quiet that is fitted between the echoing sounds of the soprano glockenspiel, as well as many other aspects, reflects the atmosphere perfectly. And now for some honorable mentions. While I do indeed have a deep childlike nostalgic love for that one song from the Santa Claus, nothing captures winter to me more than the theme for the world freeze easy peak from Banjo Kazooie. It's upbeat and jubilant, it's got glockenspiel and bells, which are classic Christmas music instruments, but at the same time, it also boasts violin and certain big brass instruments that you wouldn't typically put in a Christmas themed song, but it works. Grant Kirkhope did an amazing job with the entirety of the music from Banjo Kazooie, but this song is literally on my Christmas music playlist. That's how wintry it is for me. And while naturally nostalgia plays a huge part as well, nonetheless, this is my number one winter theme in terms of my fandoms. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I would love to hear from you which of your video games and films boast some of your favorite winter or Christmassy like music. So tell me about them in the comment section below. And also if y'all ever have ideas for videos you would like me to do, be sure to comment those as well. I do read those comments, so I, I would love to hear those. <laughs> if you did enjoy this video, then consider subscribing to The Geekdom. We're actually getting decently close to 7,000, which is crazy. I mean, this year alone, the channel's grown by 4,000, so that's insane. <laughs> and a massive thank you to each and every one of my patrons. Thank you, Joking Batman, Ryan Kirkland, Ryan Harvey, and many, many others for your pledges and for your support. It does not go unnoticed. And thank you to everyone who supports the channel in any way, shape, or form. You guys are all absolutely amazing. I love this community of the geekdom, so thank you for being a part of it. But anyway, that is all for today. Thank you for watching.